Hey, hey, hey! So I was going through and looking at some cut and unused content in Xenoblade 2 for my next video. And I came across something very, very interesting that I can't believe it took me this long to realize. So as we all know, at the end of Xenoblade 2, the post credit scene, uh, the core crystal, the Aegis core starts resonating and then Pyra and Mithra come back and they're right there. And then right before the very ending uh, scene of, you know, chapter 10, boy meets girl, uh, we see a close up of Pyra or Mithra's face, whichever one you chose, and them leaps, lip syncing something, but we never hear what they say. Now, a lot of people, the common consensus is that they say Tadaima, which means we're back in Japanese, and the, the lip syncing seems to, you know, sync up with that pretty well. I don't know if the lip syncing throughout the game is synced to like Japanese in the way they speak, like the way their mouths would move when they speak, because it definitely doesn't line up with the English. So I don't know if it's lined up with the Japanese or if it's just like some generic mouth movement. But um, in the files of the game, that kind of contradicts it, but it also supports it. It's very confusing. In the files of the game, in the game's ending cinematic, Mithra or Pyra, depending on which you choose, will say something to Rex, but no voice line is played and nothing is captioned. However, in the captions for this scene, one can see that there are subtitles for this scene. They are simply hidden with a special tag that marks them as undisplayed. Removing the tag crashes the game. And this hidden text is, the rest is up to you, my children, the final words of Klaus, and then when we see Pyra and Mithra and they word them out the words, um, some of the unused text is hello Rex for both of them, depending on which one you choose. And then the other text is hello I'm Pyra or hello I'm Mithra. So of course, not even the game knows which one it is. So it kind of supports the theory that they did lose their memory, but also that they didn't. Because if they did, how would they know who Rex is? But you could say, oh, they're the Aegis Core. They probably just already have that data. But the Trinity processor is gone. So they wouldn't have anything, any memories, because there'd be nowhere for those memories to back up to since the Trinity processor is gone. So it supports that they lost their memories by saying hello, or by saying um, hello, I'm Pyra, or hello, I'm Mithra. But also support, supports that they haven't because there's code saying hello, Rex. So either way, it doesn't, not even the game specifically states which one it is. I, I kind of want to believe that the developers left this in here on purpose for us to find just to like fuck with us and troll us because they knew this section of the game, the ending would be like a big talking point about what they actually said. So even though we have like subtitles, like legit official subtitles, we still don't even know which ones that they are because it doesn't say which ones are used except for all of these are there so they could either be saying hello rex or hello i'm pyro or hello i'm mithra it's i don't know which one it is and it's pissing me off because not even the game tells us but i'm still of the belief that they did lose their memories because all of the evidence is pointing towards it. i already said it earlier the aegis in all blades in uh core crystals for that matter they're basically um they all have code and all of the memories and data they build up gets sent back to the main server which is the trinity processor and now that the trinity process is gone there's nowhere for that data to back up to so all of the other memories and data are erased so when pyro and mithra come back basically starting up again all new they would have no uh, recollection of rex or anything that happened so they wouldn't be able to recognize them and say, we're back or hello Rex. So I'm still under the theory that they did lose their memories and this kind of supports it, but also debunks it. So it's it's quite a letdown that even still with like concrete proof right here, it could still go both ways. So I guess they really did want to leave that up for interpretation on what we actually think. And then Xenoblade 3, Ian even Future Redeem did absolutely nothing to like build upon this so so we don't even see Pyro and Mithra It's most likely that they went back to the core crystals At some point between two and three. Maybe they died After they had their kids. Maybe they just 
something happened i don't know but that's for a different video but that's really about it i just thought this was interesting and wanted to cover it uh but i will be coming back soon with like a video a full-on video about cutting unused content in xenoblade 2 because i think it's actually pretty interesting there's a lot of stuff in there that is pretty cool so i will be back with that in a couple days maybe but yeah that's really about it so see you next mission and play some goddamn xenoblade